Welcome again to ApacheCon. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Sheng Wu, who is the VP of the Apache Skywalking Top Level Project. And uh, without further ado, Sheng Wu. Hi, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to this year 2020's ApacheCon at home. Uh, I'm very young in the whole Apache Foundation. I just joined the foundation in the last four years. So, but in the last four years, I saw and witnessed the growth of the Apache Foundation and the whole Apache project growth in China with a huge community, uh, with a lot of contribution. So, it's my honor to give the first keynote of this year's Apache Com to have all of you to introduce uh, how Apache grows in China. Before all of that, I want to do a short introduction. Uh, I'm a funding engine from the trade, and uh, I was selected as the Apache member uh, this year, 2020. So it's my pleasure and my honor. Uh, also, I'm the VP and the PMC member of Apache Skywalking, and I also work with the community, including the uh, Apache API 6, Apache Incubator, Shutting Skill, each host open scheduler. Uh, so, also in the open source, I work with the CNCF and uh, to do a part of the KubeCon program committee in the last two years. So, basically, my work is quite related to the open source. So in the last year's financial uh, year report of the Apache Foundation, China has already uh, been the largest user base of the Apache project. And you can see from the map and uh, the Chinese users downloads much, much more uh, Apache software than any other places. So. This is the base. This is the base of the whole community since we have the user. Uh, we have all the people get interested in the Apache software. We have people recognized and look forward to Apache culture. So that's how things begins. User begins to join the Apache Foundation with, as a user. And then one day they may become a contributor and uh, they may invite new people to join us. So it's, it's great. It's great to have all of the people. Also, like uh, all of the foundation, all of the open source, we thank our sp sponsors. Uh, in the Apache Foundation, we have several important sponsors from China, Huawei, Tencent Cloud, Baidu, Alibaba, uh, Inspur. So all of that, they ju not just give some money to the foundation to keep, our, uh, keep us moving. Also, at the same time, uh, they support their employee, they support uh, the people around this ecosystem to take part in the open source. So with that, uh, we have a larger developer team. Also, in the last year, September, I think that's the that's the last Apache Com before the, all of the COVID nineteen things. So that is Apache Com North America, September twenty nineteen. So we have the largest attendee and we have the largest speaker team uh, flies from China to go to there to meet, to meet a lot of friends uh, from the Apache Foundation. And we can know each other and we have direct talk finally. Uh, some of them we have talked a lot at the mail list several years, but this time we have finally have the time to uh, meet each other. Also, the other thing is, uh, since now, I think, because we have a new top level project just uh, several days ago, the IoT DB. So basically, we have 12 top level projects initialized in China. Of course, this is only initialized because all of the communities, they have 
uh, diversity. They have developers, they have users all around the world. Uh, but this for me, that's, it's a very big step because as far as I know, uh, there is the Apache Com China Roadshow back to 10 years ago. But at that moment, uh, that's supported by people from IBM, people from Microsoft, but there is no single one project contributed and donated from China. The open source is very lag back in 10 years ago, but here we are today, we have 12 already graduated as a top level project that covers big data, observability, uh, distribute system, uh, IoT fields, a lot of them. Uh, we are looking forward to have more projects originally from China or Chinese people. And we are looking forward to more people to join all of the Apache projects, to contribute to all of the Apache projects. Also, at the same time, there are still eight China initial projects incubating. Some incubated for a long time, like four years, and some are very young, just joined uh, incubator several months ago. So this is, they are still pulling, but uh, we are looking forward. They are growing up. They could adopt the, the Apache way, they can adopt uh, the Apache culture. Then we can have more contributors. We can have more people known about Apache Software Foundation. Uh, I take some example from the China initial top level project. There was Jabo, Killing, Skywalking, and all of them have already have a very huge developer team. Uh, this screenshot just to take from their mail repo and uh, from GitHub. So some of them even have over 300, some of them have 200 uh, contributors. They attract a lot of people. This project originally from China, and uh, they adopt that batch way how to guide the uh, community, how to attract a new developer, how to guide people in to learn the Apache, to learn the project, to learn the open source. So that is pretty cool. That is not a small number. That's it's already huge. No matter uh, the number of contributors you put in any place, it's already a big numbers. Also, at the same time, uh, we have thousands of people, Apache members from China. Some lives in, still lives in China, some already moved to other places of the world. And uh, already today in the 2020s uh, board meeting, we have uh, 11 new members selected, including myself. So, uh, that is good way because I still remember back to four years ago when I created the skywalking there and I'm trying to find, I was trying to find a way to bring the project to the Apache incubator. And it's really, really very hard to find a memento, find a, a people get familiar with how the foundation works, uh, how to get a step one. Uh, and, uh, today, you can see in China, there are projects have much, much more options. And uh, I'm really looking forward to more, more people could join. And uh, for the local community, there is a big step and there is a very exciting things about to the Apache Foundation or uh, approve. We can set up the Apache local community officially. So. Some people, some of us built the Apache local community Beijing chapter, Beijing local community. So with that, because we have the most uh, members uh, from China, they live in Beijing. So we are hoping the Apache local community not just started uh, just uh, in Beijing. We are trying to be, uh, make this local community become the China local community. We are trying to broadcast the Apache culture. We are trying to broadcast the Apache way. Uh, at the beginning, at the 2019, uh, just before the COVID-19 breakout, we have a real face-to-face -face Apache event at Tsinghua University, Beijing. So there are several 
uh, boarding and top level project could join there to talk with the students uh, to guide them what is the open source, what is the Apache way. That's just pretty cool. And then, you know, at the beginning of the 2020, uh, COVID-19 breaks and the whole country knocked down, sadly, but we didn't stop. We are trying to make that another opportunity to broadcast the Apache culture. So at the Chinese New Year, we are setting uh, a brand a new podcast in Chinese for local people to talk about the characters of open source developer, uh, the business value, and the Apache way and the, the company behind the open source, the company's uh, benefits from the open source project and so on. And including some people like me, how to live uh, with some open source community, you can do a job. That's pretty new in China. Most of people think uh, for the open source is still uh, a very, uh, you you must do that in free. You must don donate all of your personal time to help others. So there is some business mode of the open source. We are trying to make that uh, accepted by people. And uh, you can do open source. You can do the for public good like the Apache Foundation wants. And you also can earn the money. At <laughs> least you must have some payments to live, right? Also in today, in this summer, and uh, we are working with some uh, Institute of the Software Chinese Academy of the Science. Uh, some of the China initial Apache project joined these promotion plans. Uh, this like uh, Google Summer of Code, but here. So we can have mentors to guide students to join the community to make their first move to contribute their first line to the codes to the documents to the blogs to the website so once they have their first step some of them may decided to move on because as far as i know there is several people several students from this project has already been uh, nominated and selected as an Apache commissioner already, at least in Skywalking and uh, API, API 6, several of them. That will be a great success for me to this kind of plans. And for the last year, uh, the Apache Foundation built the film of a trillion trillion serves of the Apache Foundation. And the Apache local community, we are building the subtitle, the Chinese subtitle for the film and uh, uh, forward all of these in the China local uh, broadcast platform, the Bilibili. So people out here, they have troubles to go to the YouTube. And uh, so we gave them uh, an alternative way. Also, we know the Chinese people like WeChat. So we built up a WeChat public account. That account covers a lot of things, including uh, translating the Apache blocks into the Chinese and uh, send the technical articles from different projects, a uh, personal introduction about people uh, who involved in the open source, like the Apache members, like uh, PMC members, new contributors, new commissioners, or the local events. We are trying to broadcast them, trying to make people uh, get touched with all of the projects, all of the open source projects here. So they can find a way that they are very close to all of those people. They can get to talk with them, uh, they can have uh, directly message they have their WeChat account so people can talk to each other. Because in China and in the Chinese culture today, people like the direct direct talk always. That's why the WeChat 
still, we all know there is a challenge still happening about the uh, mail list uh, via the direct message. And uh, this challenge happens everywhere in the world. In the, in the Western world, there was Slack. Uh, in our side, there is a WeChat and there is a QQ group. So basically, that's it. People prefer the direct message. But still, we know the values of the uh, async communication. Uh, we know the value of the mail list. And we have made the value of talk and uh, Jira tickets and uh, GitHub issues. So that's that's why that's why we feel so many articles to guide people to talk to them the value. And also the broadcast things continues uh, because we built up the uh, Chinese New Year podcast series. Uh, back then, there was no Apache local community because at that moment, it's not, uh, they were not proved. But after that, we have the new series of the podcast powered by the Apache local community Beijing. We have several members, uh, several PMC and project original creator, uh, commissioners. They have different, very different open source journey. And so we set up series to interview them to share uh, for share their knowledge they share how they got touch with the apache project at uh first place so people can learn from them people can find their way to find the angle find the entrance to join the community I think that is hard for many, many people. And for me, it's exciting about this is the first, I think this is first uh, Apache come at home. So this is also the first time we have the Mandarin track this time. This is just a part of the track, but still it's very great to see we have different language scenes. Uh, because we still don't have the real Apache com at China. We have real show. And uh, I'm looking forward to one day we have a very big Apache com after all this COVID-19 chaos. So look forward to all of this. And also, as current status is very good uh, of the COVID-19. So, uh, the Apache Com Roadshow China 2020. This will be happens uh, both online and offline. So we will call host events with uh, Coscom 2022. Because many Apache members already have the chance to join every year's call uh, Coscom for all of the open source. Sometimes the colleague provides venues, but this time because of COVID-19, uh, we are providing uh, four places for the speakers so they can meet each other face to face. And they also could do broadcast online at the same time. This is our idea to uh, balance mm, the save and uh, people want to get in touch face to face. So this is the, I think this is the last big news in the 2020 we are trying to do in local communities. Also, we have a big progress in all of the open source things in China, with all of the Apache things in China. We are making great progress, but also at the same time, there are some challenges. And uh, open source culture, like I said, open source culture is still like uh, you are you are making public good only, and uh, people are refusing uh, to accept that some of them are for commercial, some of them for their personal life, uh, some of just taking it as a job. So because of a lack of the uh, diversity. Uh, people think they are not qualified enough to join the open source, including the Apache software. Uh, so we are trying to change that. There's a lot of work to do. And as many people expected, English is still blocked. That 
since we are also working hard trying to remove that blocks. And uh, in this year in the Mandarin track, we are there is there is a presentation about a translation robots and uh, to link to WeChat, uh, mail list, and even GitHub issue. They are just beginning and. Uh, I hope some blocks will be there. For many more people, for many people already involved in the open source, English is just a skill, a tour to share ideas, to talk with each other, to talk friends globally. Uh, but for some people, they lack of the personal connection globally, and uh, Mandarin is still the only language they're using. And uh, reading English documents already a challenge for many of them and the same and uh, typing or speaking that is a huge step also and to build a community about someone is still controlling their open source project they want to controlling all of them that's still a cultural part but uh, we want to highlight that the most the last thing and uh, still from my personal perspective there is much much more important is enough time people are china they are work like 10 hours per day and six even seven days per week you can see that there's nearly all of your time your even lack of time to uh, stay with your family stay with your kids your parents so in that case it's really impossible no matter what is culture is no matter what's the tool or what's the language it's impossible to ask them to take part in open source even many of them i talk with them personally they are very interested in the open source community they want to contribute even at least one night of a code they will feel very satisfied the real they encourage it encouraged them a lot so I hope there is a more open source based company. There is more open source project donated from China, Chinese company. People will have their time scheduled and to work on the open source at any time they want. They could have their own time, they have their own interest. And all of that, I think, are not just the the people from the Apache local community is from uh, all of the Chinese companies. We are trying, we are trying hard to uh, remove all of these blocks. Personally, I'm very optimist because I have seen a lot of improvement in the last four years. And uh, a lot of people joined open source. A lot of people say that it's already uh, and support for their career so let's see let's see how these things works i think maybe two or three or five years later and uh, i come back to this stage i come back to maybe 2025's apache come and give a similar presentation to compare to this one to show people how things approve okay so Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining this year's Apache Com. It's very exciting to have all of you. We have uh, many tracks uh, to cover different fields. So choose the one you love. So that is. Thank you, everyone.